ready, get it, go Hurry, 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 don't be slow Shake your legs, jump out the bed, your hair looks really funny Yes, he be, be, get it, go Are you ready, are you ready, get it, go Hurry, 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 don't be slow Eat your breakfast, look your juice up, everything's so yummy Yes, he be, be, get it, go Yes, he be, be, get it, go Hello, and welcome to Tickabilla. <laughs> hey, Sarah Jane. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Justin. Hello, Sarah Jane. Hello. Hi, Tamba. Now, Tamba's got a farmyard jigsaw, and I'm helping by pretending to be an animal from the jigsaw. Do you know what I am? I think you're a hen. <laughs> That's right, I am a hen. Did you get that? But, Justin, I still can't get this jigsaw right. Oh, well, don't worry, Tamba, because we know a song that will help you to get it right. Oh. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some sheep, with a meh here and a meh there Here at meh, there at meh, everywhere at meh, meh Oh, oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Oh, oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some hens, E-I-E-I-O With a pop pop here and a pop pop there here a pop, there a pop, we're everywhere a pop, pop. Oh, oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O With a woof woof here and a woof woof there Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof Oh MacDonald had A moo moo here and a moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Only one left <laughs> Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O With a <laughs> here and a <laughs> there here a, there a, everywhere a Oh, oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My jigsaw's all finished! <laughs> well done, Tamba! Do you like farmyards? You do! Would you like to make one? Well, come with me then. I've got some green card here, and that is going to be my field. I'm going to start by making a hen house for my farmyard. And I've got this piece of red card, and I've cut it up into a rectangle. And now I'm going to fold it in half. And to do that, I'm going to put the two edges together and then press down like that and make a fold. And then... When I open it out, it makes a triangle shape for my hens. So there is my hen house. Now next I'd like to make something for my geese. 
And to do that, I've got some blue tissue paper and a paper plate. And I'm going to put some glue on my paper plate, which is a nice circle. It's a bit like the round window. Well, it is like the round window. There we are. Put some glue on there. And then open out my blue tissue paper. And I'm going to just stick that on there, like that. And when I turn that over, there is a blue pond for my geese. So we can put that to one side now. Now then, what else should we have in our farmyard? Some pigs. Now I think my pigs would like to live behind a fence and I've got this long strip of yellow paper for my fence and I'm just going to fold that in half so once again we put the two edges together like that and press down and then we'll fold it in half again so we put the two edges together and press down like that. Now then if we open it all out and fold that round to face the others and I'm going to get some sticky tape and see if you can guess what shape I'm going to make for my fence put some sticky tape there whoops and do you know what shape that is it's a square like the square window so there is the fence for my pigs. Now I need to make a barn for the cows and to do that I've got some brown paper and I've got some card as well. Now I'm just going to put the two edges together like this and then get a piece of sticky tape and stick that down there and I think I'll get another piece of sticky tape just to make sure it's safe. Then we turn it over and bend it and then we need to get some more sticky tape like that and we put a piece of sticky tape there and a piece of sticky tape there. Now you might need to get a grown-up to help you with that because it's a bit tricky but when you've finished you'll have an arch shape like the arched window and that's our barn. So let's put the barn there, the pigs there and actually the pigs can go there and the geese, the geese there I think. Oh but I haven't got any animals. Hi, Sarah Jane. Oh, hello. I brought you some farm animals. Oh, great. There we go. Okay, right. well, I've got a hen house here, so okay. put the hens in my hen house. All right. And is this for the pigs? Yes, that's for the pigs. All oh, right. you've got put a those in. pig and, and a piglet there. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, in the, in the barn, we'll put the cow and the calf. And I'll put the geese around the pond. There and we go. One on the pond there. The sheep and the lamb can go on the grass there. Oh, and the, the dog, he can go there. Ah, oh, that looks really good. Great. Oh, that sounds like the tickabilla clock. And I think there are some more farm animals in the story today. Let's have a look, shall we? Tickabilla. Tockabilla, tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the tickabilla clock? Well, the long hand is pointing to the number six. So that means it's half past something. And the short hand is halfway past the number nine. So that means it's half past nine. But what's underneath the clock? <laughs> it's a cow. Hello, Tamba. Hello, Justin. Are you going to listen to the story? Oh, yes, please. OK. <laughs> now, this story is called, Does a Cow Say Boo? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Does a cow say boo? Oh, no. <laughs> what does a cow say? A cow says moo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what a cow says. And you can too. Moo. <laughs> so who says boo? Does a pig say boo? Oh, no. A pig says oink, 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 oink. oink, oink. oink. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and a pig goes grunt, grunt, grunt <laughs> as it squaffles in the mud. Oink, 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 grunt, grunt, grunt. Oink, oink. <laughs> <laughs> but who says boo? Hmm. Does a dog say boo? <laughs> oh, dear, no. What does a dog say? <laughs> and sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes, <laughs> but I've never heard a dog say boo, have you? <laughs> well then, does a cat say boo? <laughs> Don't be silly, a cat says, that's right. And a cat says, <laughs> and a cat goes, <laughs> when you stroke her fur. So who, who, who says boo? Does an owl say boo? No, no, no. An owl says, who, to wit, to woo. To wit, to woo. Can you say, to wit? <laughs> and down below, a mouse goes squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> and a horse says <laughs> And way up high on the hen house roof, the rooster throws back his head to crow. How does he go? <laughs> then round about, what a hullabaloo! A duck says, quack, 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 quack. A bird says, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> a hen says, bawk, bawk, cluck. <laughs> and her chicks say, cheep. A bee goes, <laughs> and a sheep says, <laughs> Though some little creatures say nothing at all. Hmm. So isn't there anyone who says boo? Hmm. Hide your eyes and tell me who. Huh. Okay. What do you say now? You say... Boo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oh, animals make such funny noises, don't they? They do. <laughs> oh, aha. Uh -huh. And I think there are some more animal noises through the windows today. <gasps> can I do the windows? Of course you can, Tanda. <gasps> How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched? Which one will it be? Can you think of an animal which likes to sing? That's right, birds like to sing. Some birds like to sing at the start of the day as the sun comes up. This is called the dawn chorus. If you are in a garden or a forest or the woods and it starts to get light in the morning, then you will hear lots of different birds singing a dawn chorus. Birds sing to let other birds know that this bit of the wood belongs to them. Birds make other noises too. 
Listen to this bird. It's making a tapping noise with its beak. This bird is called a woodpecker because it likes to peck holes in the woody trunks of trees. Here is a place that's full of trees. It's a rainforest. Because the rainforest is so big and the trees are so tall, birds that live in rainforests have to call very loudly. Listen to the noise these birds make. Here is another animal that can fly, which makes a very unusual noise indeed. This is a hammer-headed bat, and it is flapping its wings and making that high-pitched noise to speak to other bats. Oh, it looks like another bat has heard the call and come to see what all the noise is about. Here's another animal which makes a strange noise. This is a beetle. This type of beetle moves its neck backwards and forwards to make a rubbing noise. Here's a beetle that makes a noise by banging its head against the wood. And this beetle bangs with its bottom to make a noise. Now you might recognise these animals. These are frogs and they live in a pond. They make a noise using their throat, which they blow up like a balloon to make a croaking noise. Can you croak like a frog? Isn't it amazing how many different sounds animals can make? What a lot of different sounds. And we've got a very special sound in the Tickabilla house today. That's right, we've got Christina and Daphne, who are playing an instrument called a harp. Have a listen to this. Wonderful, Christina, and what a beautiful harp. How many strings does your harp have? My harp has 41 strings on it. 41 strings, gosh. Um, and how do you play the harp? Well, you put your finger on one of the strings and you pluck it. Okay. Like okay, um, and if you wanted to play a low note, what would you, which string would you play? You would play one of the very long strings at the bottom. Okay. Oh yes, that's a very deep and mellow sound. And if you wanted to play a high note, what string would you play? You play one of the very short ones at the top. OK. Oh, that's very high. Well, thank you, Christina. Now, Daphne's harp is a very, very large instrument. How do you carry around an instrument like this? Well, you have to get a very large estate car. Right. And you have to get strong gentlemen to help you carry it. <laughs> and you can also have a trolley which fits onto the bottom of it right. so that you can wheel it around on its trolley. Oh, I see. Now, when you run your fingers along the strings, now what's that called? That's called a glissando when you run your fingers over all the strings and it right. sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
That really is an enchanting sound. Now, Christina and Daphne are going to play another piece for us now called Bar Bar Black Sheep. Why don't you sing along too? Take it away, Daphne and Christina. really was a beautiful sound. It was lovely. And there are some sounds keeping Bonnie, Banana and Mo awake. Let's have a look. Bonnie? Banana? <laughs> and Mo? Bonnie, Banana and Mo. I'm feeling a bit tired, like Bonnie, Banana and Mo too. <laughs> Yawning makes a funny noise, doesn't it? Let's have another go, shall we? And this time, why don't you yawn too? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you tired? What do you do before you go to bed? Well, 
I like to... put on my pyjamas and then I wash my face. Oh, and we mustn't forget to brush our teeth. <laughs> and when I'm nice and cosy, tucked up in bed, I like to read a good story. And of course, I always take my favourite teddy to bed with me too. <laughs> oh dear, it really is time for bed, I think. So I'm going to go and say goodnight to Sarah Jane and Tamba. Come on, Teddy. Oh, dear me. Oh, are you all right, Justin? <laughs> Hi, Sarah Jane. I think I'm going to go to bed. I'm so tired. I've just come to say goodnight to you two. Oh, <laughs> shall we sing you a sleepy song? Oh, that would be lovely, Tamba. Thank you. Yeah. You, you make Teddy? yourself comfy. Oh, yes. Okay, then. Thank you. <sighs> <sighs> As you curl up in your bed After you close the book you've read As you curl up nice and tight And feel the coming of the night Let your eyelids start to close Give a wiggle of your nose Then drift off into deepest deep The warmest, sweetest, dreamiest sleep Dream your bed is a beautiful boat Feel it rise and feel it float Dream that it crosses the widest sea But gets back home in time for tea Dream your pillow is a cloud Feel it floating over a crowd See their faces far below Faces of people, of friends that you know Dream of colours, of balls, of toys Dream of other girls and boys See them dancing, see them run See yourself joining in with the fun Dream of animals, birds and bees Dream of wind-rocked waving trees With golden leaves that start to fall Until the morning comes to call Then as you wake up in your bed Some lazy dreams rest in your head as you rise, ready to play, those dreams all seem to float away. But never worry, never fret, your dream time is not over yet. For come the evening, come the night, your new dreams will greet you clear. Justin is asleep. Why don't you see what different noises you can hear at home? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's talk about numbers. Good idea. What number though? Oh, I don't know. Um, 
One, one, it's right at the start. Every time you're counting, one is taking part. One, one, there's only one of you. And if there was more than one, then one would be confused. One, one rubber duck in a bar. And if you pull the other one, you're having one giraffe. One, one, one can't talk alone. But you always find that one is on, on the, the telephone. telephone. One. one.